different kind of hero. He made some occasional flubs, not many of them, but he did make some occasional flubs with the hero. But um, I think it's just it's probably a, a situation where, okay, well, we have a hard farming black hero. We have a good jabs carry Ten mid. We could do both of them with empower if we'd like. Um, we, we have Magnus play to the offlane. This also, remember, remember could be a Jabs Magnus, which is a completely different style. That's not super different, but it's somewhat of a different style between him and Ice Ice Ice, where he picks up the Echo Saber early on, right. which Ice Ice Ice, in every game we've seen from him, has not done that once, as you've mentioned so often. Yeah. Ten seconds remaining. Yeah. Five seconds remaining. Yeah. I love Brew. I think Brew's... I actually like Brew a lot this patch, but for some reason, some people don't time. think you know the too highly of that hero at this point in time. But when Ice 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 plays him, he makes him look good. Yeah. Um, whether or not he gets picked here, again, remains to be seen. We're very early on in the draft. But some bands that have come out, the PL band this time instead of the anti Mage coming out um, for one reason or another, maybe because they have better lockdown for the AM. They have no way of dealing with PL yet. I'm not sure. Yeah, a little bit interesting. Uh... Radiant oh, team. Mr. Um, Earth Spirit, I was just looking. Totally oh, ignored wow. so far today. Isn't that kind of crazy? He is available. Mineski, are you going to grab that? Because if not, well, they already have the Ogre. I don't know, Ogre or Earth Spirit's actually probably fine. Uh, for Faceless, I think I'll probably remaining. ignore it, I would guess. Uh, I mean, potentially. It's We've definitely seen it before. Five you just, seconds the remaining. Ogre is just, he's a five. I mean, he's practically ranged hero anyway. He can still harass you without really taking damage. He's so it's kind of the same five. thing. Uh, at least in lanes, so um, we have seen it, I think, once from Mineski this tournament, I want to say. I remember it was, like, way less than I was expecting. Every game, I was like, alright, let's go, and then, oh yeah, against Young Minds, and they won their two games. They also played it both times. So. Uh, you're still talking about the Earth Spear, right? Yeah, yeah, for Mineski, yeah. so it would be their uh, their fourth game if they decide to pick it up here, but... Be interesting to have the uh, all three Spears in one series. I guess it's that, not that uncommon, especially when two are in one. I, I kind of I wish there were games where you'd see all three spirits in one game, and and that was probably the best chance for it last game. But I don't know. It's like it's interesting. I, I think it's probably happened in professional Dota. I mean, it has to happen, but I, I haven't seen it. Dire so. team pick. Oh, there's our tried and true combo that we've also discussed yeah. a couple times. The Mister Cat, Centaur, yeah. and Lone Druid work pretty well so together. Good. So but, good. Um... RP is also okay too, though. It's a good AOE disable, so you can stun the bear and lone druid potentially. Ten seconds remaining. Make sure he can't get off that very annoying savage roar by just recalling the bear. Disruptor also Radiant very good against pick. centaur lone druid. I think glimpse static storm. Yeah, that's one way to do it. So they have two ways of counter initiating here with faceless now with the static storm available as well. Um, I guess they were kind of ready for the Lone Druid pick, I suppose, with the Magnus already queued up remaining. and the Disruptor coming right after. We talked about what Disruptor can get done in a dual lane. They might see him in a, in a tri lane now, though, with, with another hero with Disruptor over Magi and one more. And there it is, the Earth Spirit. They got the, the mostly green strat, the green and, like, turquoise red on the uh, Centaur War Runner, I guess. Oh, yeah, he does have a little turquoise in there. Like, kind like that's of, the background. It's like the sheen it's like a, or something. It's the hue. It's the, um, it's the, <laughs> the hue. It's the hue. You got it, man. I, you like, actually I, nailed I, it, dude. Is that, is that it? That's the I, like, hue. I literally just made that word up on the spot. I'm like, this probably would work here, <laughs> but I'm sure I'm done. Meanwhile, faces have the all blue strat. And then Excellent. a little bit of red, uh, a little bit of spot of red on the yogurt. So we're getting into, and then of course it is the. I, I guess we should Ten talk more importantly about remaining. the fact that it is a PA, um, yes. which is it's the common Five one of the common go tos with power. I mean, let's look here. So we we always talk about the jug being the big one, but they got entangled. They got an earth spirit silence. It really ruins your whole spin thing. That that's your BKB that you rely on. So they just go for PA. You know, yeah, you got to buy a BKB, but holy hell, the ship with that damage, you got a little bit of mobility. Try and keep up with some of these guys. Yeah, you get a Deso. See you later. Yeah. I mean, your armor's gone. Your life is gone. Early you're getting crit. potential too. Yeah, 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 it really messes up remaining. that bear as well. Just like throw a couple daggers on that thing. That thing is done. It, it actually seconds, she makes remaining. it look so easy to kill when she has armor reduction on that bear. Bear is pretty tanky, but it's not going to have any items on it because of course it is the new range lone druid. Um, a little surprise. Then on maybe the bench, a scout man. shield. Yeah, I would think like if you were thinking they were going to go like a a range core, I would guess Weaver would be perhaps. They're banning out the blue strat, man. They're like, yeah. all right, what's another blue hero? <laughs> Vengeful Spirit, that fits. Let's ban it out. No, I'm not giving enough credit to Mineski. That's I'm just memeing up a little bit. 
I mean, we assume this will be. Je oh, is this gonna be the troll? Are we getting the troll PA strat? The troll PA. Dude, it's happening. That, You're up the game. It's happening. Yeah, I Ten think you go for it. Remain. It's happening. Who did they send mid last time? It was the EPA, right? And then they said the Five troll safe lane. Remaining. That's correct. Oh, really? Reserve time. No, well, Jabs was playing, but I think he was playing to the safe lane, wasn't he? I could have sworn. Okay. I'm wrong. Okay, I believe you, Trent. I also believe Dota buff more. Jeez. Oh, That's the correct source. <laughs> All right, last pick. Oh, you're yeah. up a game. Give me some troll. Oh. I have to see. Uh, Mineski. I don't know. I find them a little harder to read. I guess, well, again, it's been two weeks, I suppose. Um, I feel like I'm, I'm more in tune right now with Faceless. And, well, it'll be the NPA, and it will be the WK, Mr. Wraith King. Hmm. Serious disables here. Faceless. Some serious single target disables, I should say, other than um, Ten RP. Seconds remaining. I love how they pick Wraith King. And no Five seconds remaining. Yeah, you're right. This hero always only get he's only seen by like faceless and in like elimination Reserve mode where you kinda have to pick it. Five time to time. Remaining. Let's last pick from Neski. Looks like they could grab the mid hero safe laner. It's the Ember Spirit again. So we got two spirits again. I'm gonna sit out on that third. But it is going to be the Ember Spirit. See if they throw it mid. Or if they throw it safely like last time into the Lone Druid mid. I'm inclined to believe it's more with the former than the latter. Trent's uh, thoughts on this last pick? Ah, uh, I don't know. Okay with it. Just kind of trying to think about, like, how you going to deal with this lineup of Faceless. Uh, I, I was kind of thinking maybe, like, Invoker would be okay with, like, some Sunstrikes and stuff to help your Earth Spirit and some of those ganks, and maybe your Lone Druid and stuff, but then maybe they would feel like that they both come online a little bit too late. Like, you'd have the same valley with Invoker and Lone Druid where... They they're okay right in that like, like leading up point where you're just getting these sun strikes going, but then right at like ten to a little bit after the lone druid starts falling off, needs his mails from himself, he needs to get going, and perhaps Ember will be a little stronger at level ten to Five fifteen to try and carry remaining. through and until hold up those bigger items. So uh, it's off. So. I'm I'm okay with it. I don't think it's like an overwhelming victory pick here, and sending it uh, what looks like to the safe lane with the lone druid heading mid with miracle. Yeah, it's an interesting landing for this, but uh, it we did see those those early wards come up. Get is the exact same wards from both teams. X Y, I think he probably went mid. Was it him or yeah? I think it was X Y ran mid or T B mid. I should say, dropped the ward down towards the the mid lane. And then on the other side, it might have been Jules. No, it was Ninja Boogie that, that came down rolling boulder and it's a great ward against Earth Spirit. Ward. It's like exactly where he wants to be. Is somewhere yeah, is... in this line, you know. He kinda, just what kind of vision his, does it give you? His roles. <laughs> so like this, just watching... this triangle area essentially is is pretty nifty to cover. Yeah, it just gives you this whole like beach of where he likes to roll on over the river. Ooh, I like that beach. I like that a lot. Falling at the beach, guys. We're in. Riverbank. Riverbank is... Yeah, that, that's good, too. I was just thinking that. Man. We're on point today, Trent. Let me tell you. It's, this is a great series to be <laughs> casting here at 6 in the morning with one hour Mr. sleep. Mr. Cat! It's great. All, all the, I love Mr. Cat, man. I've fallen in love with it. It's, it's my best. last day, actually. I know. You're leaving. Mr. Cat. It's yeah, a bit sad. I should let everybody know that I will be at my brother's wedding starting Friday. Uh, well, his wedding is not on Friday. I'm going home for a week. Um, I'm the best band, so Annie will be filling in for the rest of Mr. Cat. And uh, Trent, uh, if this is the last game, it's been an absolute pleasure, but let's hope for a game three. It's been an honor. <laughs> I hope we make it to game three. Yeah, I do too. I think there's a, there's a, there's a good chance here. Mineski have a good draft again. And we'll see how the game starts. See if they can really slow down Faceless here in the laning phase this time. Last time, it, they, they kind of gave away a lot against Faceless in the laning phase, but... Might be a bit, bit easier. Look at the way that the lanes are going to shift, though. It's going to be Miracle in the top lane this time. Oh, at least he's getting the top rune. No, he's going mid. I'm sorry. He's, he's just getting the rune. Well, he's going to head back towards mid. And then R is going to be in the top on the center with the poor mid shield to start things out here. So. All right.
in this tournament. Okay. Yeah, they only lost one game. Who was it to? Warriors Gaming? Yeah. Pretty good team to lose to. That is a while. It's kind of acceptable. <laughs> Searing Chain Skewer back. The body blocks on the Bimbo, but the Telekinesis is going to save him. An auto attack or two, and the tower will still hit him. He doesn't have Radiant a salve. And his attack. team doesn't have a salve either, so that's rather unfortunate. Yeah, that's a pretty wow. good use of a skewer, I would say. That is that is an insanely valuable skewer. The only way that could have been more valuable is if we got first blood with it. Jeez. That is nuts. Stop playing, though. Should, or... no. um, yeah, that's why with the ignite coming out, I believe this is a dead centaur. Oh, nice. Even with return, it's not enough, and... Uh, well, that's why we'll grab first blood, so. And that's the amount of lockdown you have. That's without Glimpse, by the way. Just Thunderstrike. But Wraith, Fire, Blast, and Ignite. More than enough to bring that hero down. It's two now that he's dodged. It looked like that one was a little bit outside the vision. It's kind of hard to tell um, from that ward. But I think they're aware. Because there was one pretty clear one where he went from a roll over here. So if they get a sentry, they might be able to snag this one out here from Ice Ice Ice. But... It's, uh, Earth Spirit's been busy down bottom to not much success. I say it's just pulling the wave back. They even committed a ward to try and deal with him. You need to, you need to find some kills or something in the early game as an Earth Spirit. That's just not happening right now because of that ward, as you have previously mentioned. So we'll, we'll hope to see um, Ninja Boogie find some success. He might roll in onto mid. He's going to look for a two-minute rune, and he will not find it. The regen at top, they will give it to Miracle. He doesn't really need it, but. Alright. Wow, RR has been forced to jungle here with a poor man shield and no quelling blade. Take some time. You could try it up if need be. You could also just maybe try to tank it up to. Look at the difference in the posture of the uh, the offlaners. Like, Ice Ice is like here right now against three heroes. Brutal. And then Centaur is getting ganked oh, at a shrine. He's, he's lucky that shrine is up there. I, he might actually be able to turn this around. That shrine did so much work. XY has to leave. He's pretty speedy though with boots. The stomp's gonna go. He went back in. XY maybe misclicked or now body getting body blocked. Blocks. Telekinesis, I think he's dead. Double Edge comes out, Fable. And they came up just as that shrine was being used. Maybe the most unfortunate timing you could possibly ask for for Faceless. Still, very good kill for Mineski. It actually helps the Centaur out so much. Oh, yeah. He's totally bailed out of his lane now. He's like caught back up to the Magnus. Uh, I say, we'll start jungling a little bit here. Second point in power, so this will help him make his way up into level four. Waits for the wave to hopefully push out towards himself, but it's not too shocking that Raging Potato will just be holding on to it. Even some more pulls from Ninja Boogie. So not finding kills, he's going to have to rely on some neutrals instead for his early Earth Spirit game. Watching Jab CS mid is, is always really nice. Like, he's hitting... Really hard to see. As, I, as how I did say you, that, how did you say that? Like, you know, like, come uh, to luck. Oh, oh no, what? God, now I feel awful. <laughs> he was looking really good for a moment there. I, I caught it on camera, so people know what I'm talking about. But There you go. He's recovering now. Oh, well, I missed it. <laughs> and while he's busy watching our air, chase after nuts here. Yeah, that's exactly what Get I was watching. Bounty room. That's mine. Yeah, nuts. Dude, do the loop, nuts. Do the loop. This is the exact uh, thing we saw last time with Jules playing the disruptor. He's got kinetic kill. He's just dropping, honestly. Oh, he's dead. See you later. Meanwhile, there's a kill mid and potentially two as Ninja Boogie gets fire blasted. Jab tanking the tower. One more auto attack or two from XY will do the job. Good fairy fire. Jabs, he's got the stifling dagger, he's gonna use it. That will provide the kill. He salves up and actually drops dagger as well. XY, Telkinesis, they TP back in Miracle. They're looking for jewels. Fable's gonna come out. Jabs out of mana. Stomp coming. They get oh, the entanglement cross, the double edge, and it's turned around by Mineski. Man, I can't believe the centaur has like, what level is he? Four and a half. And Ice Ice is four and three quarters. That's actually crazy how much better this Magnus' life is. I, mean, I know it's because he can jungle and whatnot, but RR has two kills now and the assist. He, like, solo kills his enemy support, comes mid, gets a gank there, and he's still behind in every sense of this Magnus except for 20 gold. Like, <laughs> in terms of, like, experience, he's still a ways back. It's pretty nuts. Ah, no pun intended, but... Yeah. He's caught up with this wave, though. He's gonna have a catapult and stuff here, too. So oh, he'll even have rolling six boulder. They might actually get this kill. Finally, on Ice Ice Ice, he'll go down. Bimbo, come and get the job done there. Now we're talking. Yeah. 
Die Good time for an extra boost. Ooh, that ward. XY's. I'm surprised he didn't put that sentry up. I guess he's no way of dealing with it. Until somebody gets here. And they're TPing in the Magnus. He's got an Iron Talon, so just drop that sentry. That he should know. Uh, you know? saw XY, or you saw the Rubik. Oh, yeah, he's he, pinging it now. He knows. Yeah, he knows. Get that ward out of there. Give it to Jabs, for God's sake. What does he have coming out of the courier? I just want. Wow. Okay. Maybe we have more. It's actually still early on in the game, though. Five five minutes. And he's doing pretty well for himself. Wand. Phase. Lightstone. Poor man shield. And the empower to help out now. What level is it? Level three? Yep. Time to farm. Meanwhile, they tell Kinesis. XY is caught. Fade Bolt coming in. The Rolling Boulder was there as well. And the uh, Flame Guard to help Bimbo get that kill. So they find another one bottom. And they're going to start pushing here. All right, Meski, six to three. Quite a few uh, green heroes on the net worth chart. Not looking too bad here. Uh, we were looking in terms of the dire side last game, and it was Meski. It was always just this like mix assassin down here, and his rotations. Uh, they did not get that out of RR in the previous game. So, I'll have to see exactly what RR can get done this time with the actual stampede, yeah. because he he really missed that early game window, which eh, I mean it happens. Mix is definitely a very common here. These people. He might have to use a stampede here. Oh, uh, kinetic fuel. He might actually just. He did. Good stomp. Another Wraith Fire Blast in two. That TP might dissuade them from going any further. Glimpse back. Oh, Remnant not going to go. The Wraith Fire Blast tick. The last auto oh. tick doesn't go, and RR actually still lives somehow. Dive in black. Taking some hits from the tower. He's very low, but Radiant he has the Vampiric Roar. He's got wand charges. Not to mention his reincarnation, but they were so close to getting that kill. That TP action might have done it. He was going to get Stifling Daggered for his good measure and he just takes two crits to the face one crit actually then one auto attack and almost dies to it stampede force to be used rr was looking for the ankh at the top lane but black would be able to walk out well, that's not bad you save your rubik too let's ensure his survival oh my look at this ancient stack well it's only stacked once but still it is gab's taking it at 740 and they're gonna help out too i say size nearby agnes dota yeah, seriously. I mean, it's crazy. How, like how top of the net worth this? now. He hasn't even killed the last one. The yeah, he's pretty much tied with Black, who's having a very good lane, who's also going armlet first, by the way. <laughs> Bottom lane, another gank into XY, probably. Boulder smash, the sounds comes out as well. Rolling Boulder is there. He's pretty tanky. He's under the tower. They're going to have to die for this kill. The Remnant, that'll do the job. No TP rotations coming in. Bimbo is running low on mana, and he's getting closer and closer to Boots' travel. So he's found some kills for himself down bottom, and Mineski are putting themselves in a better position. Almost into level 8. Going for the bots, I suppose, uh, makes a little bit more sense this game, as he does have the bear to go on to as well, so he can at least just join up with whatever his lone druid's doing. Send the bear in. They don't have any helm builders, though. Unless Arar wants to take a little ice, ice, ice initiative there. But of course, is, Centaur, you really need that blink, so. Uh, speaking of the helm, Magnus is. Static field? I don't know if they can fight this with a rotation from the Rubik. It looks like they can't. R is too tanky. Getting closer and closer to that blink dagger. Man, even level one Vampiric Gore is still pretty good. A lot of regen out of that. Yeah, it's all right. Dyer's bottom to Armor jabs is also. Ooh, this smoke. This is a stampede smoke. They want jabs. Yeah, he's probably dead. He's definitely dead. <laughs> Jeez. And there we go. A brutal kill. A uh, brutal nine, ten minute kill. tower push with lone druid. Yeah. Typically ends up in the safe lane, especially if they're it's coming from Dire, but coming from Radiant, they find a good opportunity mid. And, and that's two towers because the tower bottom was denied by Magnus. So all of a sudden, that that's that is a significant gold swing, as you can see in the net worth chart. Now the top of the net worth is going to be the um, Ember Spirit as well as the Lone Druid. So, jeez. That's such nice map control for a, an early bots hero too. And those waves can just push out a little bit further. Don't have to worry about those TPs coming in. And uh, yeah. give Bimbo a that chance to out. really get up into that veil and whatever item he wants after that. Bimbo's feeling pretty good about this game right now. 
Whereas the rest of Faceless, they, they had a good start, but they're starting to fall behind here because of the tower control, because of the... I missed out on a couple of kills. In fact, there's eight kills for Maneski, three for Faceless. They're looking again. They might find this PA, or excuse me, Disruptor. At least Nuts, uh, a creep died, and he got level five right before he died, so yeah, there's yeah. that. You know, gets himself a tome, close to six. I, I gotta say, Trent, I think Faceless is in a very tough position right now. I, they gotta get that blink off. Going yeah. for the helm so early for, for Magnus means he's not gonna have any real initiation chance anytime soon. They have a mighty snap for the Lone Druid. The blink is just about... The blink is done for RR. All he has to do is go back to the side shop and buy it. He will. It's a game where they're gonna have to try and rely on mistakes from Maneski if they want to come back in the earlier Radiant's parts of this game. Tower. Like someone coming attack. too far forward and Nuts gets a good glimpse. Um, plays like that because until that blink dagger's up on ice 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 they really can't do anything no it's a whole lot of farming and kind of running around trying to deal with the split push that is mineski or even the five man push which even when black again. buys armlet like that doesn't change anything not really no he still won't be able to punch heroes so i mean he's gonna farm faster of course but then he used to try and get to a blink of his own i would assume will be his next buy they're going to set up on a kill on Nuts here. They're TPing up the Ember Spirit. Stomp. Double edge. And good static storm. Nuts actually might be able to turn this, but where's the rest of his team? Our has damage, to stampede. And they're going to go for Bimbo instead. Remnants, stampede out. Spell stolen. Fade bolt. They're going to try to turn it again. They have the armlet, but I don't think they're going to go any further. Japs is coming in. Radiant's looking for jewels. Bimbo's going to walk out. He's got a remnant. He wants to regen up and stay. Radiant yeah, he's trying to trying to set something up here, but it's gonna be well. Man, they could get anything done out of that. Even well, though ice, ice, ice. he's, he's ice thinking ice. about it, he was sniffing out with that creep. All right, well, and Minesky are staying top as well. They do send uh, the Ember Spirit back towards mid. Ogre just pinged him. This should make my life easier. Who are? Yeah. Oh, they don't they have, see Jules oh, they walking up. They, scan, they, see, they see Ninja Boogie. They have vision there. They're going to try to fight this. Jules is going to get caught. Yeah, see you later. That crit. Now Ninja Boogie probably needs to leave. Good rolling boulder actually gets him out. All right. Well, Are they wise to the tricks of RR, though? I mean, at this point, he can't do anything, though. <laughs> yeah, <laughs> but that's... Time. It's, more, it's more of a... Well, if they go looking for him, they'll find a kill, but... Uh, looks like they're just gonna push now. Radiance top tower is Even Iron Ember. It's actually pretty scary. Trying to bait bottom, it looks like. Yeah. They're just gonna push. And now they're TP top. RR is set up. He's got a stop ready. And he's looking to on to two at this point. Another static storm, though. Now they're looking for RR. He has no stampede for four. They've caught one. Can they catch two? Rolling Boulder already used. Good stop, but the kill should be there. One more auto attack. He'll fall regardless. It's the Ignite that does the job. And now, oh, Black Bimbo might be in trouble getting caught. Ray Fire Blast still jabs once. His remnants away. He's in the low ground. Jab's still chasing. Cyphlic Dagger is there. They're going to try to turn the Searing Chase. Rude is up as well with the Entangle. Black has the reincarnation. The stun from Jewels. The Savage Roar as well. Still have that on. Has fallen. Gabs gets to the high ground with the help of XY. Telkinesis. I don't know about this, Jules. You have no mana left. Stampede might be able to make it out. Wraith Fire Blast down enough damage. They try to reinitiate. Here comes Bimbo. Ankh by Go. Good armlet toggle from Black. The double edge, though, will do the job. No Stampede. Black's back up and they want to fight. Wraith Fire Blast. Jabs jumping in. Nuts is here as well. Stomps up. Kinetic Field. The crit from Black. Now the double remnant. Comes back. Bimbo. Still getting that kill into jabs, trying to be a bit too aggressive. Meanwhile, down bottom, a lot of map control being taken by the Magnus. They get back to, back on top. He gets his blink tag while that was all happening. And so now they have RP, and I think it's time to go for phases here yet again. Yeah, that's pretty it's... important. The fact that all that attention's up top and Ice 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 can just farm. Like, this is basically what Black was doing the last time when they were all fighting. Where he was just a slark trying to get into a shadow blade so he could be relevant. Set his commands up. Some nice armlet plays and oh, space jewels. jewels again. Oh, good telekinesis. Save glimpse. Yep. You are dead even with Ray Fire Blast being stolen. Good attempt. And they have this blink again. They didn't use RP. Secure wasn't used. It's a little low on mana. Jabs too. <laughs> yes, give me get that. Get that Dasso. Stifling dagger. Throw, throw that way and 
Let me get that kill easy. And they'll take the tier one tower now too. Lift is gonna save things off for a moment, but only a moment. That initiation from RR that kicked off that whole fight was so forced. It was one of those moments where he's like, I've wasted so much time back here. Like, I can do this. I can start this fight off, but your Ember's TPing to the Tier 2 instead of the Tier 1. Trying to make it, like, not obvious he's coming in and not be spotted, not get glimpsed, all those sort of things. And all of those disruptions um, and glimpses coming through just made it kind of impossible. Disruptor disrupted there. It's a very tricky game. Yeah, despite Nuts being on a very squishy hero and dying four times, he's had a very big impact so far, just because of the heroes that he heroes that he's playing. It's a uh, it's a very good disruptor game for sure against these heroes, especially. I will say the Lone Druid has been farming for a while, and he's going Radiance. He's going the Bear Build, man. Not the uh, the the range build. He's going the Bear Build. Oh wow! Yeah, I hadn't looked at him in a while, but uh, I guess TA and Wraith King good game to have a Radiance. Bumps back, but Bimbo is able to run it out if need be. He won't need to, though. Swags the high ground. Oh my god, there's one item a PA hates. It's gonna be MKB. Garibo. Yeah. Ninja Boogie, uh. Yeah, about that. That was a great play for my size size. Waiting and just baiting that. Mm. Free kill for faceless. Fat stacks in the jungle, getting rich. Black is back to where he belongs. The king, the net worth charity. Yes, king of, yes. What's next? Oh, blink, huh? Blink. Yeah. Soon they can roast too with a desolator as well. And pure core from Black at level two now. It's soon time for faceless as they try to push mid. Jab yeah, just needs to be careful here. Very far up without a team to help him out. It's a good call for him to back. Time to split up the map for Mineski. I, I feel like that's what they have to do at this point. Do you pick a blink for Bimbo? He's got his Veil blink now. Bots as well. This was kind of the point in time where you talked about it last game. It was a bit later that he got these items in the last game, but like, you were starting to get tankier, more mobility type thing. Yeah. Because those three items that you specifically talked about. You don't get quite that. Much damage, and you know, you, you hit this level 14, there's like a little bit of a lull. He's coming in now, though, and they will smoke up. Oh, no lone druid, but the bear will do its thing here as it's closing in on the radiance. Unused Midas for a while, though. That's was so close to breaking that. TP out top. They did. Wow, they smoked too. Perfect timing for faces. Question is, where do they go with it? Tier 1 tower mid is well, very low. This ward in here. I'm not sure how much it's spotted, but. They might know they smoked out or something, but it's roach time. Yeah, I think they just take this. So, oh my God, Medallion Whitestone. Does he have a Desolator? No, nope, not even a full Deso. They've got the Aegis. RR takes the haste rune. Uh, still is gonna die for it because he gets crit and blown away. Crit by two different heroes, I'm pretty sure. That was so that sucks. greedy. Yeah. Well, he blinked in as soon as Roach died, so he might not have known. Radiance Middle Tower. Has yeah, it might fallen. have been just a little delayed or something. Yeah. So the PA is stopping off for BKB instead of Radiance getting the Middle Desolator Tower immediately, which I I'm kind of a fan Radiance of, considering how the game is gone. Well, again, it's like last game too, where the Jug just went this Manta ready to blink because you have power, you have Bloodlust. Don't necessarily need that damage. Although with an Aegis, it might change his mind. Just grab the Desolator. I wouldn't be too shocked. But uh, I like BKB for sure. And I see trying to get a fight going here with Jules and RR smoked. And they might very well, but Jabs might break the smoke if he stays in the tree line any longer. They want the bear instead. Get that crit. So right oh, last. There it oh is. my god, mm. 1600, dude. It's it's still a thing. I don't know. People thought it might have been a bug, but he gets that double neutral crit on the bear. Crazy. That's why you pick the Wraith King into the Lone Druid. It's nuts. Oh, with the bear dead. Does he have a resummon? He already resummoned it. That's not even fair. That's his. That's all of his like items. His important hero. Miracle says WTF. That's counted as a unit. 
Yeah, he's yep. as concerned as you were. No, I mean, this is, it's kind of funny because despite all the times they pick Wraith King, that's like the one time I ever talked with this damn hero and they've never picked it against Lone Drew when I've been watching. This is like the first time. So like, I don't even take that into consideration anymore when it's faceless, but any other team, this was the only time every, everyone was like picking this hero was to, uh, to get that double crit on the bear. Oh man, they want Miracle, but I think he's gone. Yeah, Actually, he that's, back. that's so bad too because he's going this bear build, as you said. Yeah, exactly. I that's hadn't even like I mean. really factor that in that's kind of kind of brutal uh, that's exactly what i was saying this is awful <laughs> like you hit the bear like three times especially with a like a lightstone even in a desolator medallion he's got a solar crest now too like th the bear is dead in like three hits from the wraith so king not even sometimes how are you supposed to deal with that you've already got radiance you don't have a dragon lance you don't have a male from mjolnir eh, i don't know dude very very troubling times now that that has been Counted for. Jabs is Aegis. His team is sort of nearby. Not really. He's about to get ganked, it looks like. They're all TP in top. Jabs is not really being baited by his team. They are leaving. They feel very concerned. They have realized this may very well be a bait, but it's coming from the direction they did not expect it to, as you can clearly see. Blink, stun, they'll find this. Oh my god, that's a lot of hate. Jabs gets himself a double kill. And boy, did that Ember Spirit get absolutely destroyed. Glimpse back, Shockwave, Wraith Fire Blast, and all of a sudden, it's getting real bad real quick. Medeski yet again. Yeah, this is kind of how they roll. I don't know. They get this Blink Tanger on Ice Ice Ice, and it seems like unlosable. <laughs> it's up to the Shadow Blade, of course, at this point, but... Radiance top tower. Oh, this combo. Ogre Magnus. They just pick these strategies. It's gross, man. Like, Black and Jabs hit so freaking hard and so fast. Can you imagine how much damage they're going to do when Jabs gets Deso? I'm only going to try to take Rax. They don't want to buy back in the Ember, but they're going to lose Melee because of it. Whew, dear God. 692 Stifling Dagger Crit. Oh. Down in the sheet. Yeah. See you later. He does have buyback. He might have to use it. Yeah, does he have his Aegis still? He does. Rolling Boulder in, Ninja Boogie. That might be a mistake. Oh, Good boy. Trash coming in. They want the bear. Can they bring it down? Meanwhile, Jab tells me he does the Aegis. And there it goes. Playbill <laughs> on the bear. Actually gets the Ankh out. <laughs> Poor Wraith King. That's pretty funny. Bear's back, though. Good Jules, choice, good DKB choice. is going to go. Jules, see you later. Glimpse back there looking for the low good himself this time. And in, even in true form, he's not going to make it out. He's dead for 54. They buy back on the Rubix. Nice slight of fist to avoid that Wraith Fire Blast. The Skewer is there. He has activate Fire Remnant in one. Can he get it off? Slight of fist. There it is, but it might not be enough. Good blink away. Miracle stays alive. Now it looks like Magnus chasing too far and as well. Jab is getting low. They find himself a double kill for Miracle. Making some nice plays. RR, is he going to get auto attacked out by XY? It's not even that. It's the Ignite that does the job. Still, they lose the Ogre at the end of the fight. Jab is able to get out. But uh, some interesting plays coming out from uh, Faceless. He's... Yeah, I mean, they're YOLOing a bit, I think, but... <laughs> They, they can afford to, I'm sure. Clowning, perhaps. It's actually only a 12,000 average advantage. I think it'd be more. Well, things have spiraled pretty quick. It is only 12, or uh, rather, um, 24 minutes in, so. Yeah. Yeah, we started to look at the same situation again. Give me a little. Because uh, there's no caudal. No pull around. Just Mr. Amber Spirit gonna have to do his thing. The bear is nice, but he's getting owned. Is it even alive right now or is it no it's dead? I don't see it. Oh my god, that reaction time was something else from Bimbo. Whether it was intentional or not. Oh, did he just dodge that RP? He blinked as literally as Ice 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 blinked in and yeah, he was mid animation when he blinked out pretty much. He still might get caught actually. Dude, he is in and out. He's, that's a uh, dead hero. He stayed too long. He's like, I avoided the RP. I'm alive. Not, uh, not so fast, my friends. It's time for you to get caught. By the way, that's an uh, American football joke for any of you out there. Radiance sure nobody cares. 
That's a touchdown. <laughs> there, uh, look that. at this push down mid. I just try to split push as much as possible. I guess they're going to back for it. I guess faces aren't going to do anything too crazy. They forced to buy back into the Ember. They don't need to worry too much. Roche is up in a little bit and they can just wait for it. Take the shrines. Take the other one. No, it's still up. Black is going in. They fake back. God. Oh, Earth Spirit looked like a man. unit. He even had a miss there. <laughs> is that, is the that a neutral? <laughs> uh, I don't think so, Trent. Oh my he, God. he even had a miss there from the Radiance Burn. He still killed him. Extraordinarily. He killed him in the span of one Wraith Fire Blast, man. How do you deal with that? Don't get Wraith Fire Blasted, I guess. Oh, yeah, see you later. This is a get me out moment. <laughs> get me radiance out of here. here. Yeah, it really is. It's great set again. It doesn't have a reset for 30 oh, sakes, and that's half of your damage crit. gone. Mm. Uh, I'm sure mail. Miracle's probably so upset right now. He's like, there's no way Wraith King should do that much damage to my bear. I think he's got he the counterplay, right. though. Once that blade mail, you know, he gets him on the secondary kill, <laughs> the run back. <laughs> you keep critting daggers. Dagger. This is an awful game of support. It's not fair, man. RP comes in on it too. Nicely done. RR getting caught. He'll fall. Miracle's going to be next. They already killed Bimbo. Jabs is just diving the base. He's like, I have a vision. It's totally fine. Double edge. You are out. Ice 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 is just playing around with his food. Triple kill for Jabs. Jules might be the last to fall. He actually glimmer capes so he can stay alive. Gabs does not have an Aegis, by the way. Meanwhile, on the back line, Black killed another one. It's actually going to be Ninja Boogie going down. Crits like crazy, baby. It's PA and Race King coming together. All they need is a Juggernaut for Crit Extravaganza. Wow. Well, a fun game for Faceless. Fun series for Mineski. Uh, I don't think so.